today we will see regarding one of the like most confusing calculation that we usually encounter whenever we are starting dialysis for a hypokalemic patient since most of the dialysate contains potassium of 2 milli equivalent if we want to rise it to 3 milli equivalent or 4 milli equivalent because once we want to give dialysis to a hypokalemic patient we have to keep the potassium at a higher level how to do that calculation how to adjust the potassium in the party that we will see it here for that first we will see the ratio that is being followed in the standard dialysis in the formation of final dialysate the part T is approximately one part this image i just added to show this ratio combination part T is approximately one one part part b is one is to eight and the ro water remaining is the ro water the most of the component of the dialysate is the ro water which is around 34 ml so we'll proceed to the calculation so this is the ratio for the dialysate 1 is to 1 is to 8 is to 34 1 is part a which can denote the electrolyte 1 is to 8 is part b which is mainly the bicarbonate 34 is the r water so for a thousand ml of dialysate if we apply this ratio this comes that is for a thousand ml of dialysate 27.1 ml approximately is from part a 49 ml is approximately from part b and the remaining 923 is from the part i'm uh, sorry or water how i all how i got got this calculation simple just add all these three which is 36.83 thousand ml so divided by 36.83 so one part is available one part is 27.5 ml which is part a so going further with the calculation so part a in the standard dialysate part a delivers 2 milli equivalent so that means 27.1 ml in 1000 ml of which is contributing to 1000 ml of dialysate is giving 2 milli equivalent because ro water or part b doesn't contain any potassium all the potassium comes from part a only so this 27.15 ml out of 1000 ml of dialysate is delivering around 2 milli equivalent i hope till here it is clear so how much potassium in 1 ml just bring this 27.1 below here so the calculation is 1 ml contains 0, 0.0 milli equivalent of potassium so how much potassium is there in 5 liter can or 5000 ml of part a is 368 milli equivalent of potassium approximately so if there is a 5 liter part a can is being used which is containing 368 milli equivalent this delivers around 2 milli equivalent of potassium to the final dialysate so here usually there will be mild confusion how it is being calculated this ratio this much amount of part a 27.5 ml contributing to 1000 ml of dialysate is delivering 2 milli equivalent 1 ml contains 0 0.07 milli equivalent of potassium so in the 5 liter can there is 6, 368 milli equivalent of potassium so this much in the can delivering 2 milli equivalent in the dialysate so proceeding with the further calculation so 5 liter can having 368 milli equivalent delivering 2 milli equivalent in the final dialysate so we want to make it into 3 milli equivalent or 4 milli equivalent what to do so this is the calculation this is delivering which is the standard in almost all the centers part a contains 2 milli equivalent this is like part a delivers 2 milli equivalent so this is how it delivers since one ampule of kcl contains 20 milli equivalent if we want it into if we want the dialysate to deliver around 3 milli equivalent for example let us make it simple we want it to make it to deliver 4 milli equivalent what we have to we do we have to just double it so that is the calculation if we add 368 milli equivalent more to the 5 liter can it becomes 4 milli equivalent or you add 184 milli equivalent more to the existing can this delivers around 3 milli equivalent 
184 is approximately 9 ampules of KCL. You have to add to 5 liter can to make it into deliver 3 milli equivalent. Or if you add 18 ampules in part A, it delivers around 4 milli equivalent. So suppose if that calculation is confusing, I try to make it simple. The calculation you can go through the video once again. But the overall summary is this one. If a patient is having hypokalemia, you want to start the dialysis. Make the part A can as 5 liter. Add 9 ampule of KCL to part A 5 liter can. It delivers 3 milli equivalent of potassium in the final dialysate. You add 18 ampule of KCL to part A 5 liter can. It delivers, sorry, it is not 3. It delivers. It delivers around 4 milli equivalent of dialysate. So final dialysate patient gets 4 milli equivalent. This is the overall summary of this calculation. This is not clearly mentioned in any book even 